parents are diagnosed with Parkinson's disease each year. Now results from a study show that one particular surgical treatment may become the first line of defense when it comes to treating one of the most common Parkinson's symptoms. Dale Nevels didn't think much at first about his shaking hands. Then one night he was having dinner with a client and they asked him whether he was going to drive home. I said, I'm sitting in the hotel across the street. Why would you ask that? And he said, because your hands are shaking so bad, we think you've been drinking too much. That led Dale to go see his doctor. The diagnosis was Parkinson's disease. Tremors or shaking of the hands, feet, or legs occur in 70% of Parkinson's patients. Current treatments help control the symptoms, but... All of the therapies that we currently have available do not change the progression of the disease. Researchers at Vanderbilt University have found that deep brain stimulation, or DBS, may slow the progression of tremors in early stage patients. Patients that received optimal medical therapy were seven times more likely to have tremor develop in an additional body segment over the course of the study compared to those that received DBS. Dale took part in the trial, even though he had to stop taking his Parkinson's medications, putting him at risk for worsening symptoms. But Dale has never regretted it. The surgeon that did the, the surgery for me came to my room the next morning and he said, I can assure you, you've probably got five good years, but I'm in my 12th year. Vanderbilt is the lead center for a new large-scale phase three clinical trial for DBS in early stage Parkinson's patients. Patients must be 50 to 75 years old, have had Parkinson's disease for one to four years, and have a stable response to medication.